Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to write, read and delete a text file or a CSV file in ABAP on the application server. You can store files on the application server that have been generated, for example, by jobs that run at night. Uh, these files can then be downloaded or fetched from the application server and processed further. My video is divided as follows. First, I declare some variables to read some data. Then we open a file to write it on the application server. On the second step, we read the, data, the, the file from the application server and last, we delete the file. So let's start with the declaration. Today I want to read some data from the table spfly. So I write here data it spfly type table of spfly. Next I need a work area wa spfly type spfly. Next a string variable to write and read the data lv string type string. Next I need a file variable lv file type string and here I store the path and the name of my file string value usr uh, don't forget the slash usr sap temp and the name of my file is today spfly.csv Okay, next we open a dataset with open dataset, then the variable of my path and the file, lv file for output. Because we want to write the file on the server in text mode, encoding utf8 and ignoring conversion errors. Next, we write the data to the file. So let's loop over the internal table. Ah, sorry, I forgot to read the data to the internal table. Let's do this now with select star from spfly into table it spfly. So now we have some data uh, in the internal table. And now let's loop over the internal table, loop at it spfly into W A S B fly in my work area. And next let's write some data into the string variable. And I use a string template here. And I write the uh, four columns of the table S B fly to the string variable. And I write uh, WASBFly and uh, the first column is the care ID. Then I close the bracket and because we have a CSV file, we need a colon here, semicolon. And now let's copy this string and I paste it again and I use the column con id. Next I use the column city from and 
last I picked the column city 2. So the last semicolon I don't need, I don't need the last one. So I close the string template and I next I transfer the data from the string variable to the LV file variable. Okay, and now I close the loop. So what we do here, we read data from the table into the internal table. Then we do a loop and we write some data to the string variable. I pick here four columns. Uh, and next we write every line of my internal table to the file. And I do this as much as I have entries in my internal table. And now we have to close the dataset LV file. Okay. Next, uh, we press the pretty printer and we activate the code. And let's run the program. Okay. It's already done. So let's open the transaction AL11. And here we see the SAP directories. And today we have uh, the directory user SAP temp. So let's double click here. And now this is our CSV file. And we see, okay, it's not null. So that means there is some data in it. Okay. And in the next step, we want to read this data from the file from the application server. So let's close this window and scroll to the read data command. And here we write again, open dataset LV file or input input because we read the file in text mode encoding UTF-8 ignoring conversion errors then we read the data and I do this with a do loop so I write do and I close the do loop with and do. Then we write read dataset LV file into LV string. Then we check the su super C if su sub RC is um, is not null, then exit, else write LV string and and if. Okay, and don't forget to close the dataset. Close dataset LV file. So let's pretty print and let's uh, command the this code because we already created the file on the server. Then we click on activate and if we now run the code, we should read the CSV data from the application server. Yes. And we see here 
the content of the CSV file. You see this because of the semicolon. Okay, and last, let's delete the file. And this is quite simple with the command delete dataset lv file. Okay, ready print and um, run the code. Okay, activate before and we run the code. Okay, we have uh, read the data. So let's go back and let's open the transaction AL, AL11 again. So let's click in our directory, double click on this path and we see the file is deleted. Okay. Yes. That was it already. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel, leave me comments. I always love to read and answer them. Until next time, thank you and see you soon.